Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, a surprising confirmation. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. The Galaxy S23 Ultra with 8GB of RAM has previously made several appearances on Geekbench, and now a 12GB version of the smartphone, likewise with the model number SMS918B, has been seen there. In this case, the S23 Ultra produced a respectable single-core score of 1,495 points along with a somewhat subpar multi-core score of 4,647 points. The flagship phone will be equipped with an allegedly bespoke 8-core Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 SOAP that can achieve a modified 3.36 GHz prime core clock rate. The single core score for this specific Galaxy S23 Ultra is about 1,500 points, so there's absolutely nothing to worry about while the Lenovo Legion Y90 with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is currently leading the Geekbench Android leaderboard with an average score of 1,190, putting the S23 Ultra by a significant plus 25.6% margin. Similar high single core scores were also achieved by Xiaomi's 13 and 13 Pro, which are Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 smartphones and with 12 GB of RAM. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is unquestionably no slouch in this area. The S23 Ultra's multi-core score, however, is only 4,647 points and this outperforms everything in Geekbench's charts, which are led by the Realm GT Neo 3 with Dimensity 8100 on 3,847 points, although it falls short of the performance achieved by the 8GB Galaxy S23 Ultra and other SD8 Gen 2 smartphones. For instance, we recently reported on the S23 Ultra with 8GB scoring 5,179 9 points in the multi-core test, a number that is a respectable plus 11.4% higher than the 12 gigabytes variant in this case. And even while it may not be all that exciting right now, hopefully, more will be revealed before the Galaxy S23 debut. In addition to that piece of news, Samsung has unveiled the Galaxy A14 5G, which has been circulating in rumors for the past few months and the phone is actually pretty similar to the Galaxy A13 5G, its predecessor, but it finally switches to Full HD plus resolution and gains a better 13MP front camera. A 6.6-inch IPS LCD with Full HD Plus resolution and a 90Hz refresh rate is included with the A14 5G while the remaining specifications are carried over from its predecessor including a MediaTek Dimensity 700 CPU, 4GB RAM, and 64GB of expandable storage through a microSD card. The phone has a 50MP main camera, a 2MP macro camera, and a depth sensor on the back, while a 5000 mAh battery with 15 watts charging support is present and the device will be available in the color colors black, light green, dark red, and silver running Android 13 with one UI5. The US has a $200 price point, and open sales begin on January 12. Additionally, according to Samsung, the A14 5G will soon be available in Spain but however, no price was provided in the availability announcement. That said, let me end the discussion for today. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.